Hello everyone and welcome to this feature of the week video. This week I want to show you how to import a compartmental analysis project from PK Analytics to Simulix. This feature has been added in Monolix Suite version 2023. You probably already know the workflow when importing a Monolix project to Simulix. If not, I have linked the video for you. Here is a compartmental analysis of a single drug administration using a simple PKPD model performed in PK Analytics. Based on the same individuals, we aim to simulate a new scenario, a multi-dose administration regimen for instance. We can now easily transfer our CA run from PK Analytics to Simulix, either directly in PK Analytics by selecting in the top menu in the export configuration Simulix as a target software, or on the opening page of Simulix by clicking on Import from and selecting PK Analytics in the drop down menu. These functionalities enable us to import all relevant elements for a potential simulation of a new clinical trial scenario in just one click. The imported elements automatically appear in the definition tab. These elements include all pertinent information required to simulate the model, such as the structural model, potential occasions, the estimated individual parameters, the treatment and the output. These elements can be used in the exploration and simulation tab for the exploration of a single individual or for the simulation of several individuals. The model section of the definition tab contains the structural PKPD model that has been selected for the analysis in PK Analytics. If the PK Analytics project contains occasions, then these would appear in the occasion section after the import. It is not the case in this example. The individual parameters estimated from the CA in PK Analytics are in the individual parameter section in the definition tab under the name PKX indif. The element PKX indif geo mean here contains the geometric mean of the individual parameters that can also be found in the results tab of PK Analytics. The treatment section consists of the treatment information that comes from the original dataset used in PK Analytics. By clicking on the white plus in the grey box, we can create a new treatment strategy to simulate a steady state scenario for the same individuals. Let's go for 5 mg, 14 doses, and an interdose interval of 24 hours. We call this treatment once a day 5 mg and click on OK. The last administration will be at time point 312. Moving on to the output section, this section contains two different time grids for the predictions of each model output. The same time grid as in the original data, here indicated by the postfix original times, and the vector of equidistant 250 points in the same time interval. These output vectors are designated with the postfix fine grid. Adding a new output element in this section will enable to simulate the concentration of the new dosing regimen until steady state. If the original PK Analyx project has used regressors, it would automatically appear in the definition tab after the import. Let's have a look at the simulation tab. The default settings in the simulation tab reproduce the original analysis with the same sample size as in the source dataset. However, we want to simulate the multi-dose scenario, so we choose as treatment element the element we created before in the definition tab, analogously with the output element. We remove the response from the simulation since we did not create a corresponding response output vector. The PKPD parameters estimated by PK Analytics will be used to simulate the new situation. The setup is now complete, so we can start the simulation. We automatically arrive 
at the plots tab and see in the output distribution plot the median and the percentiles of the simulated data of our multidose administration. Let's save the simulation project. All information required for a simulation is stored in a separate folder next to the project. The Simulix project is therefore independent of the PK Analyx project. To avoid potential conflicts with the folder containing the PK Analyx results, we recommend to save the Simulix project under a different name. I hope you learned something new today. Stay tuned for next week's video.